अजयश Jayesh from IPS team also will be, uh, you know, first introducing you to the complete IPS, and we'll take you through the complete account opening uh, process. Kindly hold for one second. I can okay, see Jayesh. Yeah. He's already on the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we should. I'm there. Hi, Jayesh. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. You confirm you can see my screen now. Yes, all yes, visible. Yeah. It's visible, right? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Jayesh Tandil. Uh, I am a part of uh, IIPS team. Uh, IIPS stands for Insurance and Investment Product Solution, and I take care of a uh, uh, investment registration uh, journey. So, and with me, uh, Ria Monkar is there. So, Ria take care of a uh, mutual fund operations. So, first of all, uh, we'll see uh, what is IPS. So, IPS is a system where uh, you get access and you. Place a transaction, mutual fund transaction, or a uh, alternate product transaction through IPS system. IPS stand for Investment Product Solutions. So basically, uh, you get IPS access through ECRS system. So you have to create a mutual fund lead for for uh, doing any mutual fund transaction. You have to create a mutual fund lead, and after that, uh, in ECRM you get a link uh, where you click on the IPS link and you come to the IPS system. So we'll see the screens also, IP screens also. First of all, we'll see uh, the investment ID opening process. So opening an investment account, invest, uh, so there is a, a two process or a mode are there to open an investment account. One is distribution mode, and second is execution mode. So distribution mode is offline mode, where you create an investment account uh, at offline mode, where you generate the application from a form from the IP system and submit physical documents to MC by taking customer uh, a signature on the application form and the check details or uh, investment details and submit to uh, your local MC. Execution mode is where you activate online mode for that investment account and you can or our customer can place a transaction through internet banking or mobile banking or on behalf of customer, you can place a transaction uh, through OTP base or a physical ticker base, right? To activate execution mode, there are three uh, processes we have. First, we'll see the distribution mode of investment account. So for opening an investment account, customer should hold a custody with the bank. So custody is mandatory. If customer does not have a saving account with the bank, still you can open an investment account under distribution mode and uh, place a transaction for the, that customer. In distribution mode, you will take other bank check for the transaction purpose. Or for activating execution mode, customer should hold a saving account with the access bank. So in both case, custody is mandatory for opening investment account. So first we'll see the distribution mode of investment account opening. Uh, so process, uh, as I said, you have to first log into ECRM system, right? In ECRM system, you will create a mutual fund lead, right? Once you create a mutual fund lead, you will get option there, IPS. So you have to click there on a link IPS. So system that ECRM uh, system will take you to the IPS uh, screen. Right. So once you come to the IPS, so system first of all check whether that customer's custody is replicated exist in the IPS. So replication process is where all the customers details get fetched from demographic details fetched from the Finacal system to IPS system. Once you click on the replicate kit, that process will uh, uh, add back and back and side all demographic details from Finacal which will get fetched from the Finacal to IPS system. Once you complete the replication, a next step is a risk profile. So basically the risk profile is the customer risk profile, which is mandatory for doing a investment for the customer. Right? So uh, here the risk profile uh, is uh, valid for one year. Once you complete the risk profile, so again, once you click on the risk profile, you get a two option. So before two option, you get a six questions which you have to consult with the customer and you have to uh, take the responses for the risk profile. So there are six questions and five for every question, there are five responses. Out of five responses, you have to select one response, uh, response for that question, right? This is the response selected. Uh, system will arrive to the 
customer risk category. So we have a five risk category, which is risk averse, uh, then balance, growth, uh, conservative, and the risk uh, uh, risk averse. Okay, aggressive. Sorry, aggressive. So five risk categories we have, and to complete that, this of all, we have a two options. So one is the physical uh, physical mode, and second is the OTP mode. So in physical mode, you have to uh, get that system generated risk profile signed from the customer and upload again in the IPS system. The second mode is OTP uh, mode of risk profile where a system will ask you to select the uh, email ID and the mobile number on which customer will receive link for uh, OTP risk profile. Once you complete this uh, process from your side, customer will receive link on his email ID, which customer will open and put the OTP received on his mobile number. Once you complete that risk profile, system will ask you to create an investment account. So first, you have to create a lead in ECRM. Once you come to the IPA system, system will check whether customer ID is there uh, replicated or not. Uh, so you have to replicate that custody. Then after you have to complete the risk profile, and then after you have to create a investment account for that customer. So again, so uh, investment account can be open in a mode in which customer want to do the investment. It can be single or it can both can be joined, right? So this is a process of uh, distribution mode of investment ID creation, which can be created by the RN. Uh, with this, customer dis uh, offline investment ID gets created. To activate that offline investment ID under online mode, there are three processes, which is IBMB, internet banking and mobile banking, which is customer initiated process. Uh, second is OTP based registration and third is physical registration. So IBMB and OTP based registrations are uh, paperless registration. OTP based and physical registrations are RM initiated registration. IBMB is the customer initiated registration. So first we'll see the customer initiated registration. So the features uh, as mentioned here, it's a hustle free uh, registration where uh, the customer once log into internet banking, uh, it take hardly two minutes to complete the registration. So again, the if customer is not care KYC compliant, for opening the investment account customer or for doing an investment customer should be care KYC compliant. If customer is uh, coming through this process IBMB and customer is not care KYC compliant, in that case system take all his demographic details from the financial system and show it to customer that uh, this is your de demographic details we have. And with these details, we are uh, going to register your care KYC. Okay. If customer give his consent to register care KYC with this registration process only customer care KYC also gets registered and his online investment account gets also gets activated. So who cannot uh, do registration through IBM? Yes, so Hello. Well, net banking say so we can do it, right? I know. This KYC yes, registration. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This process okay. for customer, right? Customer can do it. Uh, Malab, first time care, it's, uh, his care is not registered. We can do it through online, right? right? Haan, haan, haan. Haan. Okay. Uh, so who cannot be registered through IBMB? So basically minor, uh, non-individual customers, uh, NRI customers who does not have a versus address, and US Canada customers are restricted to do registration through this IBMB process. So we'll see the process, how it is uh, done. So customer will a customer has to log in with his uh, IBMB credentials. Once you click there uh, under option there in investment, customer has to click on the my investments here. Once you click there, he get a, a bucket of the uh, scheme code categories. Like what he want to do is he want to do tax debt. Uh, save, he want to save the tax. I want to do the SIP or other top funds. Uh, he want to do the investment on that bucket. He will click on on next page. Customer will get all the schemes. Uh, click on the bucket. Uh, this is the category. He will get the schemes, right? So again, that there is an invest button. So customer has to click invest here. As soon as customer click here, there is a system validation build. System will check uh, all the parameters like if customer is KRA KYC verified or not. Uh, if customer is NRI is the worst, the address is there. Like all parameters are there. After this parameter, system will check his MFKYC status, as I said. 
and fetch all his uh, demographic details from the Pinnacle and show it to customer. So customer has to verify these details are correct because these details will be uh, we, we are using for uh, registered is KRA KYC. Below that, a customer will uh, see all his in saving accounts. So if customer hold two saving account, one is single, second is joint, so he can activate both the uh, he can link both the saving account for a investment purpose, online investment purpose. So and again, uh, that this process is only for the single account, right? So if customer hold a semi, uh, joint account. Sorry, the investment account is a joint mode, so we cannot process through this process. So only single mode investment account gets active through this process, but he can uh, link the joint saving account in this process, right? So he will select the saving account which he want to link for his online investments. Once he complete this process, on next page, customer has to uh, fill his FATCA details. Once he complete the FATCA details, on next page he will complete the risk profile. So uh, for customer, uh, customer can select uh, direct risk categories. There. You can see the five risk categories there, aggressive growth, balance, conservative. If customer is not, uh, uh, means he's confused that uh, in which bucket he, his risk category is. So he can click below there. There is an option, I'm confused, and he will get the six questions below. Uh, like uh, in the distribution, uh, distribution investment integration, we have seen the risk profile where uh, you get the option of six uh, questions and uh, for every question you have to select one response. Same questions customer will uh, get in this uh, process. As soon as customer con uh, confirm his risk profile, customer's online mode get activated. On the next page, customer can invest in mutual fund through, uh, through this process, online mode, IBMB uh, process. So this is the customer initiated uh, registration. Second is OTP based registration. So OTP based registration is RM initiated registration where you have to log into IPS and you have to initiate this registration. So we'll see this process. So again, uh, for this process of what we require. Uh, so as I said, in internet banking, only single saving, single investment account holder uh, investment ID gets activated, but under the OTP, uh, if investment ID in joint mode, that investment ID also gets activated for online investment, right? For uh, the requirement here is customers should be KRA KYC compliant. If uh, you want to do the registration for joint uh, investment account, then both the holders should be KRA KYC compliant. Again, the restriction here, the uh, we are excluded minor customers, non-individual customers, NRA customer who does not have overseas address and the uh, NRA customer uh, who holds a US Canada uh, residency nationality or address updated there in our financial system. We restrict that customer for doing this OTP registration. So this is the IPS dashboard, right? So uh, this dashboard you will get only after create a mutual fund lead in ECRM and you click this link. As soon as you click on the IPS link, you will land to this page. This is the IPS dashboard, right? So you can see uh, customer ID is there, customer name, his constitution code like resident, non-resident, customer PAN number, customer risk profile, uh, customer segment, customer RM details, you will see here. Below that, there are investment account. So uh, there are two, you, you can create an investment account from this option, create investment account, or if the investment account is already there created, so you can click on the investment account. You can see the MF execution mode and alternate product not active for this investment ID. To activate this product, MF execution, yes, and alternate product, you have to follow this process, OTP registration, right? You click on the in investment ID here. On next page, you will get option register for PUA online investing. As soon as you click there, you will get two options. One is physical registration and second is OTP registration. So now we are seeing the OTP registration. You will click on the OTP registration. The next page system will ask you to fill the FATCA details. So you will fill FATCA details for the uh, holders here, for the customer, and submit the details. On next page system will ask you to select the email ID on which customer will receive link for registration. 
So you will from drop, if customer hold two email IDs uh, updated there in the pinnacle, you will get two email ID in drop down. You can select any one email ID here. Same for the joint holder also. Here, the mobile number and the email ID should not be same for the joint holder. Any one thing has to be different. Either it can be mobile or email. If the email ID and mobile ID is same for the both the holder, system will not allow to uh, initiate this OTP reg registration. In that case, you have to follow the physical registration where you have to get the one time document signed from the customer. So as soon as you uh, select the email ID here and submit the request. Uh, in this case, if the, you, uh, the investment account in joint mode, first main holder will receive link on his uh, email ID, which you have uh, in, uh, sorry selected while initiating this registration. He will open that link. Like this, he will re uh, receive mail from the Axis Bank, right? He will click on the Verify Now link, put the OTP received on mobile number. Uh, he will verify the PUT card detail, which is filled by you. He will verify the account linked by you and click on the Proceed button. As soon as main holder uh, confirm the details, the system will trigger one more mail to the joint holder. Again, joint holder will follow same process. Uh, he will receive email uh, link on email ID. Click on the Verify Now link, put the OTP, verify the PUT card details, uh, verify the bank account details and submit. As soon as the all holder of the investment account uh, confirm the details, customer's execution mode will get activated. So this is a OTP based registration. First one is IBMB, which is customer initiated, allowed only for single uh, investment account. OTP based registration is allowed for joint single investment account, but in OTP based, all holders KRA KYC should be registered. In physical registration, if customer KRA KYC is not registered, in this case, you can obtain the KRA KYC uh, form and the supporting documents and upload in this process. So again, this uh, process is allowed for single and joint holder uh, holders, non-KYC compliant customer. Here, minor NRI customer without overseas address like mariners can do registration through this process. Uh, who, can, who are restricted to do the uh, registration? Citizen from US Canada and non individual customer. So the process is similar to OTP registration, but here you have to get the to get the one time registration document signed from the customer, which is client registration for, uh, form and risk profile. Uh, these both documents are mandatory. If customer is not KRA KYC uh, registered, compliant, in that case, you have to get the KRA KYC document and the supporting document signed from the customer, which is one time document we take for uh, activating online mode. Uh, again, the same process, you have to create a mutual fund lead in the ECRM. Click on the IPS link there in ECRM. You will uh, you will be uh, come to this page, IPS uh, page where you will see the MF execution mode is no for the investment account and click on the investment ID. Uh, uh, further, you will click register for pure online investing. You will get again two options, OTP registration and physical registration. So now we have seen the OTP registration. Now uh, you have obtained the one time registration document from the customer. You will click on the physical registration here. Uh, you will fill the FATCA details. So whatever details you have filled in the client registration form, that details we will select here from the drop down for all the holder. On next page, you will select the email ID which is customer has mentioned on the client registration form. We will select the saving account only which which mention on the client registration form. Right. So after you submit this request, on next page system will ask you to upload the document which you have obtained from the customer. So it can be client uh, the main the important uh, mandatory documents like client registration from risk profile uh, is mandatory uh, documents. If customer is NRI, then passport copy you have to obtain. If customer is mariner, uh, passport and CDC copy you have to obtain. In case of minor, you have to obtain a uh, birth proof for the minor. And if customer is not KRA KYC verified, in that case you have to obtain KRA KYC document and the su supporting documents. So you have to upload this document in this process. And this document has to be stored in TIFF format only. Right? You have to uh, scan that document in TIFF format and upload in this process. 
as soon as you submit this request, you will get the reference ID for the request range. Nice. Uh, that request will flow to operation to IFS operation. From our side, we'll open this whatever document you have uploaded. We'll do the we will complete the scrutiny part for our side. And we, if we found the documents in order, uh, we will activate the online mode for the customer. So as soon as the activation online mode gets activated for that customer, that entry will move to registered and document pending. In that case, uh, if you have a, a original document with you, you, you have to forward, you have to courier that document to IFS operation at central office, right? And once you send that document, you have to add uh, courier details in this queue, registered and document pending, and you have to push that entry to uh, further to us for verification. And once we receive the original document, we, we will again verify the document uh, with the scan document you have uploaded. And if we found documents in order, we'll push that entry to complete stage. So this is uh, all the registration process. Uh, we have seen the distribution mode of uh, investment ID creation, where investment ID gets open under this uh, offline mode. And uh, to activating offline mode, to convert to offline mode to on online mode, we have a three processor ticker. Uh, we have a three processor, which is IPMB process, OTP based process, and physical registration process. Okay, now we'll see the mutual fund uh, transaction processing process. And after completing mutual fund transaction processing, we will uh, uh, we will open for the que uh, your questions, right? So, Aria, over to you. Uh, Ajay, Thank you, Jay. I have a question. Uh, if we can go through Siddhi, we have a direct link to the customer. So, it will come on OTP base or what? Uh, from OTP, I think uh, it will come from OTP base. So, simply uh, they just link. We have create everything, fill uh, amount and all, just like FD will do, same with the virtual fund. Right. First, you have to complete the registration, online registration. And after that, the transaction part will be uh, take care by the uh, RIA. If you have any question on the transaction part, RIA will uh, answer. Online registration question. means we have to create first in, uh, investment ID, correct? Huh, investment ID, you have to get the investment ID activated for an online transition, which is execution mode. So we have seen the process, right? Distribution and execution mode. Mm -hmm. I'll show you again, one second. Yeah, one second. So investment ID gets open in two modes, distribution and execution. Execution mode is online mode. To activate customer for online transaction, you have to complete one time registration, and that can be complete through th these three process IPMB, OTP based, and physical registration. Once this registration, this process is complete, customer can do investment through IBMB, OTP, or a ticker based transaction. Under distribution mode, every time you have to generate a physical uh, application, AMC application from, from the system you have to get the customer signature uh, you have to attach his check and you have to submit to the amc got it sir where we would, we would get this ecrm link ecrm link uh, so uh, in the uh, in the chrome you can write ecrm.xsb.com from there you have to log in with uh, with your ID uh, credential. So come again. ecrm.xsb.com. ecrm.xsb. xsb.com. Yes. Okay. Sir. Uh, thank you, Jayesh. Uh, as this is Ria here, uh, I am a part of an uh, IIPS team and I take care of the mutual fund transactions and uh, portfolio updation. Uh, as Jayesh has taken through you the complete process of how to activate or create an investment ID, the next step will be to. Uh, hello. hello. Paul Sangha. Hello. I have a document. 
sorry. Uh, then, as I said, that for transaction, a mutual fund transaction processing, the same process has to be uh, followed as where we uh, uh, do the uh, process for activating an investment ID into MF execution mode. Uh, as for, uh, for there are two modes in our IPS, there is a distribution and an execution. Whereas in case of a distribution, it is a very simple process and uh, uh, where a, the paper is most probably used. It's not a paperless process. And this is a simple distribution mode process where you as an RM will come to IPS creating a lead ID will will place a transaction in IPS your complete details filling up the complete details of the scheme uh, using your UN and all the uh, if you want a uh, debit mandate then debit mandate if you have a check with you if a client has given you a check then you can uh, use a check also with that application and once your transaction is submitted please note that this is important that once you uh, you uh, you confirm or you submit your transaction that transaction needs to be verified by your supervisor uh, the the hierarchy or the supervisors are built up in ips on the basis of your hrms role so the supervisors who are linked to you in your hrms the same uh, supervisors will be linked in ips so once you place an order in under distribution mode and submit it, then your supervisor has to verify that transaction. This is important for the revenue purpose. If your transaction which is placed by you is not verified by your supervisor and that application is directly submitted to the AMC, the client portfolio will get updated. We will get a confirmation from the AMC. We will update it in the IPS, but your transaction will not be matched because it was not verified by your supervisor and then the uh, revenue will not be uh, given to you. So then for revenue, then you have to go back to the mutual fund team and take the approval uh, stating that my supervisor has not approved the transaction. So please give me the approval uh, for revenue. So to avoid these complete process, please note one in under distribution. Once you create a lead ID, come to IPS, create a transaction, submit it, uh, your supervisor to verify it. Then you take a PDF of that application, take the client signature on that PDF application, attach the check or a direct debit if you have selected direct debit and submit it to the AMC locally. This is the complete process for distribution mode. Coming back to the execution modes. Now under execution, we have three different modes. That is ticker base, OTP base and IBMB. Ticker base and OTP base is where RM plays a role. Uh, internet banking and uh, mobile banking is where client himself will place the transaction through his internet banking or through his mobile banking. We will first go through internet banking and mobile banking process. Once client uh, uh, logins into his internet banking uh, credentials or through his mobile um, banking credentials, he will come to a page where he will select the mutual fund uh, tab. Once he selects mutual fund, then there will be various categories. Fund categories will, he will be directed to. Those will be uh, recommended as well as non recommended. Please note that revenue is granted only for the recommended schemes. If the client has in, selected any non recommended scheme, the revenue will not be given to the RM. Once he selects the scheme, then he has an option to invest. There's a tab where he can select click on invest. All the uh, in case a client can do SIP, he can do lump sum purchase, he can do switch, he can do STP, he can do SWP, he can do the redemption. All these are allowed through mobile banking is internet banking. All the details, specific details needs to be mentioned while placing the deal by the client. Once he completes the, all the details, then he will be taken to a page where he will get an OTP on his registered mobile number. That OTP has to be placed here. And once the OTP is submitted, he will get confirmation stating that his transaction has been successfully done. Once this, uh, this confirmation comes directly, his account will be debited. Please note, there are certain time, timings which has to be followed for these uh, transactions. For liquid transactions, if the client is doing a liquid transaction through his internet banking or mobile banking, or as RM is doing it through his OTP base, the cutoff is 12.30 p.m. 
So any transaction verified by the client post 1230 or placed by the client post 1230 or any liquid scheme, it will be uh, uh, granted to next working day. Similarly, yes. similarly for equity funds, the cutoff is 2 p.m. Whether it is OTP, whether it is mobile banking, whether it is internet banking, if okay. any client verifies any transaction placed by OTP post 2 p.m. or if he tries to place any transaction post 2 p.m. through his internet banking, mobile banking, for any equity funds, then it will be taken to the next working day. And a clear cut, uh, detailed mail here you can see the value date also will get reflected if it is on the next working day. This completes the process of the internet banking or the mobile banking where the client himself will do it. Now we'll go to the process where RM or as you have to place a deal in IPS for the client. We will first go to OTP base. Oh, uh, as I said, for any placing any transaction in mutual fund, you need to create a lead in CRM in selecting mutual fund as the product. Once you select mutual fund as the product, you will get an IPS tab which you will click. And you will directly be uh, uh, guided to IPS system where you will see this dashboard for that particular client where all the details of the client will automatically get reflected there. Then you need to click on the investment ID, which is really reflecting here. Once you click on the investment ID, then you have to decide what transaction you need to do. Accordingly, you need to select if it's an additional purchase or switch production, you need to select the uh, existing folio. Or if it's a new investment, you need to click on new investment. Once you do that, you have please so note a one of the most important thing that if a client has his execution okay. mode activated, then while placing a transaction, there will be two tabs which should reflect their execution and a distribution. There will be two tabs, and by default, that tab will be on the execution tab. But if for any case you want to generate a form and do not want to do any execution mode transaction, that tab need to be unticked and a distribution tab need to be selected. Then only a form will be generated. Uh, next, if all uh, filling all the details, you need to click on proceed. Then you have to review all the details. You have to click the UN, your UN details, which you have mandatory. And uh, uh, in case of an execution mode on OTP transaction, by default, the bank account, which is already linked, will get reflected that if the client is having more than one bank account, then you have a drop down there where you can select the account number which the client wants to get debited. Once I'm checking all these details, now in the end, there are two tabs. That is a OTP through OTP confirmation and client request already obtained. If we are doing an OTP transaction, you will be selecting through OTP confirmation tab. Once you select this tab, there will be two drop downs. First, a mobile number and second, an email ID. Now the mobile number you will check that that registered in mobile number should reflect there. And in case of an email ID, if there are more than one email ID, you have a drop down where you need to select the email ID on which the client wants his email uh, uh, verification mail to be sent to. Once you select both these things, you click on submit. Once you get once you submit, then you will get an order number, UT number, IPS UT number and the details where the SMS has gone to which mobile number and the email link has gone to which email ID. This is where RM roles finished. Now on the next stage, this is a client uh, mail confirmation which a client will receive in his e-registered email ID where there is a verify now link which he will reflect in that email ID. The client needs to click on that link. Once he clicks on that link, there will be an OTP which is automatically simultaneously he must have received an OTP. That OTP he needs to input here and click on proceed. Once he clicks on proceed, he will get a review of the transaction which you have placed. So he needs to review if the all the details are correct, the scheme, the amount, whatever details he wanted to invest. Uh, I have you uh, inputted the details correctly. If it is correct, then he can click on confirm. If he thinks that this is not, not we want, then he can click on cancel. The transaction will be cancelled. If he clicks on confirm, once the uh, transaction is confirmed, then he will get a page where your transaction ID is confirmed and the date also will reflect. See, this is where the date will reflect where if it is post 2 p.m. in case of equity, the date will change. And in case of a liquid post 1230, the date will change. 
This is all for the OTP based transaction. Now, same process is followed for ticker base. What is ticker base? Is ticker based transactions are transactions where a particular format of uh, physical ticker or email ticker is already rolled out. And in that specific format, you need to take a client approval. You need to place a transaction in IPS, but instead of client verifying it as an OTP, ops team that is we will be verifying the transaction on this basis. So we'll go to the process. The process is the same. Coming to CRM uh, using that uh, lead ID, then clicking on the investment, selecting the transaction details, inputting the details. Only thing is in case here, you don't have to select through OTP con uh, confirmation. You need to say select client confirmation already obtained. Once you click that, there will be a the, the, the specific format which I've told you when which you will take the client's uh, approval. That has to be you know uh, saved in a TIFF format. And that TIFF format, this needs to be uh, uploaded here. Once it is uploaded, this is the back office tray where the transaction will flow to us. And we will check the, the TIFF format which you have uploaded and the transaction which you have placed. We will verify if the details are correct and we will submit it. Once we submit it, the client account will get debited or in case of a redemption or STP, the feed will directly go to the AMC. Uh, this is all for the uh, mutual fund complete processing through all four modes. So if you have any questions, please go ahead. Just previous slides shown up, previous slides. Mm -hmm. Which one next. do you want? Next one, next one, next. What did you do next? Flow chart, huh? This is an alternate product. Okay. This is an alternate product or a third party product. Uh, that's why before come going back to alternate product, do you have any questions related to mutual fund? So we can move ahead to alternate product. Ma'am. Uh, yeah. On this. Hello. Ah, uh, ma'am. Uh, actually, I, I have a small doubt about the processing uh, through Siddhi. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I have inserted one lead just now. Okay. Okay. So, uh, through Siddhi, it's redirecting to IPS. Okay. There, it is asking customer profiling. It's a new to bank customer. Just recently, we opened account. Customer did the profiling also, but okay. uh, in the uh, screen, it's showing RM code is blank. RM code something showing nine 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 and RM name. It's not reflecting mine. So whether it's not uh reflecting. Whether is that a client map to you, uh, Jaish? Please go ahead. Yeah. So the mapping uh, flows to IPS from two systems. For it's flow from the data grip and for a non burgundy uh, customers like priority prime it's come from the branch analytics. So you have to check whether that uh, in the branch analytics that customer is mapped to you. No, no it's mapped to, that it's mapped to me only because my portfolio customer only. Actually, recently mm -hmm. I Hey, you and mapping. It's actually expired. Okay. I, IPS may mera, abhi it's, it's showing, sorry, expired date showing uh, 2026. EUN code and the map to soul ID is 553. So there is uh, no connection of UN and the RM mapping. It's a different thing. Uh, for RM mapping, you have, uh, that customer should, ha should have mapped to you in the uh, branch analytics system. If that yeah, is there, but I, still in IPS, uh, it is not there. In that case, you have to raise to IT by raising unit desk. Okay, here it's RM name and RM soul ID showing different. RM name showing default ID migration. RM soul ID is default showing right. Sorry. All right. I got the, uh, got your issue uh, because that mapping is not uh, coming from or some issues there at back end. So IT will check whether that mapping is correct there. Uh, what is there? They will uh, revert you on that unit desk. Okay, I have to raise a unit desk uh, issue, uh, IT right. issue. So can you All please right. send me the path, unit desk path? Uh, for that, Anna, you just have a uh, mark a mail to iips.branch at accessbank.com. Okay. Double IPS dot branch help desk. So for, 
Uh -huh. So we have a uh, multiple ID generic IDs we have uh, like for mutual fund. We have double IPS dot MF at access dot com for account opening. We have double IPS dot at the red access dot com or if you have any alternate product uh, queries uh, also that we have a ID double IPS dot alternate product at access dot com. So we'll get all the IDs in our uh, outlook. OK. For this, uh, we will IPS. share you the deck where these email IDs will be mentioned. Oh. Okay. Arya, ma'am. Yeah. Arya, ma'am. One thing I wanted to ask was internet banking and mobile banking. We do it through. So, in that, ma'am, our code will not go there, ma'am. There. अगर वो क्लाइंट अगर वो क्लाइंट आपको आईपीएस में मैप्ड है आपके नाम पे okay. तो वो डायरेक्टली आपको मैप हो जाएगा आपको मैपिंग करने की जरूरत नहीं है अगर वो जो अगर आईपीएस में अगर वो क्लाइंट आपको मैप है और वो क्लाइंट ने अगर मोबाइल बैंकिंग इंटरनेट बैंकिंग से कोई भी ट्रांजैक्शन किया तो डायरेक्टली आपको रेवेन्यू मिलेगा ओके okay, मैम मतलब मेरे पोर्टफोलियो का कस्टमर कोई भी अपने आप भी करेगा तो भी मैम हम लोगों को क्रेडिट मिल जाएगा यस यस ओके मैम और बाकी हम लोग अगर नए सिरे से करेंगे उसका तो वहां पे कोड डालने का कोई ऑप्शन नहीं आता मैम ऐसा आ, नहीं कोड डालने का ऑप्शन मतलब मतलब हमारा एम्प्लॉय कोड अगर मोबाइल बैंकिंग नेट बैंकिंग से करते हैं अगर हम लोग म्यूचुअल फंड तो नहीं आता है कुछ ऑप्शन क्लाइंट को कुछ ऑप्शन नहीं आता है इसलिए मैंने बोला कि वो क्लाइंट आपको आईपीएस में अगर मैप्ड है दिख रहा है कि वो आपके नाम पे आरएम कोड और आरएम इसमें आपका नाम दिख रहा है तो रेवेन्यू डेफिनेटली आपको मिलेगा जी जी ठीक थैंक यू मैम मैडम अभी आउटसाइड कस्टमर्स को कैन नॉट डू ओनली वी हैव टू डू फ्रॉम पोर्टफोलियो कस्टमर्स करेक्ट so if in case customer is like uh, uh, not in priority it's normal customer so if we can do can be done. yes yes it can be done for normal customers is done but if in case customer is priority but it's not in any group then i suppose it's an uh, open architecture right no ma'am actually it's not open architecture i think so yes ma'am it's open, open architecture it is a open not architecture not. i suppose uh, only for burgundy and burgundy red private it is a closed architecture where the mapped rm uh, the transactions can be done with the mapped rm only but apart from that i suppose any one of the branch can do the transactions for working customers so ma'am but uh, there is one uh, doubt in that ma'am that um, yeah. uh, uh, if a customer is doing from our portfolio so that mm -hmm. uh, automatically going to be uh, give the credit to us but um, if someone others uh, and and we have to do the crm also for that if the client is doing through mobile banking internet banking then there is no required for rm to do a crm but ma'am agar wo hamare pe map nahi hai abhi maine wahi pucha tha na ma'am agar walk in customer ka main karunga internet banking mobile banking se to mera code to dalne ko aayega hi nahi na ma'am wo to nahi aayega portfolio mein bhi nahi hai ha to uska main crm karna padega humko nahi nahi us के अगर आपको रेवेन्यू चाहिए ना तो आपको म्यूचुअल फंड एट द रेट एक्सिस बैंक डॉट कॉम को मेल डालना पड़ेगा कि भाई ये कस्टमर ने ऐसा किया है और ये इसका रेवेन्यू मेरे को जो आना चाहिए आप के ब्रांच हेड या फिर आपको आपको मेल डालना पड़ेगा फिर वो रेवेन्यू आपको मैप होगा मैम किसे मेल डालना मोबाइल बैंकिंग इन केस ऑफ मोबाइल बैंकिंग इंटरनेट बैंकिंग अगर आप ओटीपी थ्रू या फिर एग्जीक्यूशन थ्रू या डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन थ्रू डाल रहे हो तो एज पर द पॉलिसी रेवेन्यू के लिए अगर आपका और जो ट्रांजैक्शन आरएम होता है उसके ब्रांच को और उसके आईडी को रेवेन्यू जाता है जो डील डालता है मैम कैन यू टेल मी द ईमेल आईडी मैम वेयर आई हैव टू पुट दैट मेल mutualfunds@accessbank.com इट्स अ जॉइंट वर्ड mutualfunds@accessbank.com हेलो Ma'am, ma'am, uh, under the uh, transaction part, there was a two option. That was that was the first one is execution, and third, second one is distribution, right? Correct. So uh, uh, there was two option that I understand: uh, OTP based, uh, internet, and bank, uh, mobile banking. But the third mm -hmm. one that was the ticker based. Perfect. So it was just like that. That in form of physical mode, we can just going through the process and need to all these details input and try to. 
पे uh, क्या नाम है अपलोड दैट डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड नीड टू सबमिट दैट अकॉर्डिंगली इज दैट सो सी एक ना फिजिकल जो टिकर है ना टिकर का स्पेसिफिक फॉर्मेट है जो हम लोगों ने मतलब एज अ बैंक एक बनाया गया है जहाँ पे टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन सब मेंशन किए गए अगर आपको टिकर बेस्ड ट्रांजेक्शन करना है तो वो टिकर वो जो फॉर्मेट है उस पर क्लाइंट का सिग्नेचर लेना पड़ेगा वो टिप फॉर्मेट में सेव करना पड़ेगा और जैसे आप ओटीपी के लिए आते हो वैसे ही आपको लीड आई क्रिएट करके इन्वेस्टमेंट आई सिलेक्ट करके एक्सिक्यूशन मोड पे टैप पे टिक होना चाहिए वो वाला ट्रांजेक्शन आप डालोगे एंड में सिर्फ इंस्टेड ऑफ ओटीपी आप क्लाइंट रिक्वेस्ट ऑलरेडी ऑप्टेंट ये टैप सिलेक्ट करोगे और ये टिप फॉर्मेट अपलोड करोगे जैसे आप सबमिट करोगे वो टिप फॉर्मेट मेरे हमारे पास फ्लो होगा मैं ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आपका ट्रांजैक्शन जो आपने डाला है और जो टिप फॉर्मेट जहाँ पे अपने क्लाइंट का सिग्नेचर लिया है वो चेक करेंगे और वेरीफाई करेंगे जैसे ही हम लोग वेरीफाई करेंगे क्लाइंट का अकाउंट डेबिट होगा और हम लोग ही एमसी को फीड भेजेंगे मतलब आप फिजिकल रजिस्ट्रेशन की बात कर रहे हो या ट्रांजेक्शन की बात कर रहे हो टिकर टिकर बेस पे जो मैं ट्रांजैक्शन अकाउंट पे बात कर रहा हूं वो तो रियल टाइम बेसिस पे ट्रांजैक्शन होता है तो अगर आपने आज 3 से 2 से पहले डाला ट्रांजैक्शन तो आज के आज वेरीफाई होगा आज के आज एमसी के पास जाएगा ओके मैम हेलो या यस मैम गुड आफ्टरनून मैम मैं एक सिद्धि में ट्राई कर रहा हूं ठीक है तो तो में गया तो उसमें कीप मॉडिफिकेशन आया ठीक है तो कीप मॉडिफिकेशन जब कर रहा हूँ तो अनेबल टू फेस डिटेल्स फ्रॉम फिनाकेल फॉर कीप मॉडिफिकेशन रिट्राई तो इसमें क्या होगा मतलब ये तो नहीं हो रहा है कुछ टेक्निकल इश्यू है क्या मैम जयेश हाँ ये टेक्निकल हाँ ये टेक्निकल इश्यू है तो आपको आई टी को रेस करना पड़ेगा कस्टर्ड रिप्लीकेटेड है क्या डिटेल्स दिख रहे हैं आपको में तो कस्टडी दिख रहा है जब कीप मॉडिफिकेशन जा, जा रहा हूँ तब ये दिख रहा है मैसेज कीप मॉडिफिकेशन रिप्लीकेट कीप भी है ऑप्शन या कीप मॉडिफिकेशन ही है कीप मॉडिफिकेशन ही है सिर्फ अच्छा तो वो टेक्निकल इशू है वाइट हाँ, तो आईटी को रेस करना पड़ेगा और एल्स आप सिद्धि यूज करो ना तो एक बार आप ई सी आर एम से लीड क्रिएट करके आईपीएस में आओ और वहां से भी ट्राई करो ये कस्टडी के लिए माइट भी वहां से वर्क हो जाएगा पहले ये ECM मतलब सिस्टम में करना है उसके बाद सिद्धि हाँ, डेस्कटॉप पे डेस्कटॉप सिद्धि नहीं वापस सिद्धि नहीं करना आपको सिद्धि में मत जाओ आप सिद्धि में डेस्कटॉप से जाके लीड आईडी क्रिएट करके आईपीएस में आओ ओके 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम फॉर द ट्रांजैक्शन पार्ट कैन बी डू सेम विद विद द हेल्प ऑफ सिद्धि आल्सो If there are no further questions, I will move out to the alternate product. Uh, basically, alternate product product are uh, 30 PMS or uh, private equity. So These are third party products which are uh, uh, which are uh, you know offered as an uh, part of IPS team uh, IPS uh, pro, uh, system. here the process is same as in a distribution mode of a mutual fund where you create a lead only references while creating a lead you need to select alternative product or dpms or private equity instead of mutual fund this uh, say you will be landed on the ips in the same manner here you need to create a transaction in ips and uh, that transaction once you placed in ips it will be verified by our ops team but there are basically three four important things which uh, which are important in case of an alternate product as miid this is a very important document and a very mandatory document which has to be uploaded in ips second thing the to once if a, if a client's uh, execution ms execution mode is activated that means by default his dpms private equity and third party uh, app, app is also uh, activated 
If it is not, then you need to have a physical client a CRF and a risk, a risk deviation risk profiler signed by the client, and you have to send it to the ops team to get it activated. If are if there are any age deviation approval taken if the client is more than 65 years or if in case of a uh, rate change in the rate or uh, any special declaration uh, rate taken approval taken that that also you need to upload in ips basically these are certain uh, four five important things which are there in alternate product otherwise the process is the same for any query in alternate product we will share you the deck where you will get the email ids you can share your queries uh, in that email ID. Definitely, we will be responding it. Uh, that's it from the complete IIPS. Any more queries if you have? Abhishek? Hello, Abhishek. Santosh Malik, Hello? you want to Hello? ask anything? You have raised your hand. हेलो सर मेरा एक डाउट है हम लोग जब ऑनलाइन मोबाइल बैंकिंग के थ्रू किसी का एसआईपी बुक करते हैं तो वहाँ पे क्या एलजीएलसी कुछ पूछता है क्या नहीं पूछता है तो वो मतलब अपने को कैसे मिलेगा क्रेडिट आई सीआरएम करना पड़ेगा उसके लिए नहीं सीआरएम नहीं करना पड़ता आईबीएमबी से कस्टमर कर रहा है ना वो कस्टमर आपको आईपीएस में मैप रहेगा तो आपको उसका रेवेन्यू मिल जाएगा बट आपको नहीं है तो आपको नहीं मिलेगा वो आईबीएमबी से जो भी कस्टमर कर रहा है उसके लिए अच्छा मतलब आईपीएस में मैप रहेगा मतलब हम लोग कैसे पता चले मान लो कोई किसी मेरा किसी फ्रेंड का लॉग इन करके हां आपको आईपीएस में लॉग इन करके चेक करना पड़ेगा आईपीएस में जो भी आरएम मैपिंग है एज आई सेड वो फ्लो होता है ब्रांच एनालिटिक्स में तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वो ब्रांच एनालिटिक्स में आपको मैप होना चाहिए कस्टमर और वही मैपिंग आईपीएस में फ्लो होता है ब्रांच एनालिटिक्स में मैप में आईपीएस में नहीं दिख रहा है उसके लिए फिर आपको आईटी को रेस करना पड़ेगा अच्छा हां तो अगर मेरे पोर्टफोलियो में नहीं है वो एक आउटसाइड कस्टमर है मेरे पोर्टफोलियो में भी नहीं है वो मतलब उसके लिए नहीं मिलेगा इंटरनेट बैंकिंग से करे देना कस्टमर तो नहीं मिलेगा तो आपको आईटीएस से करना पड़ेगा आपको लीड क्रिएट करके 